All right, welcome back. On this video here, I'm going to show you something really exciting. All right. Well, we are. I'm going to give you an introduction to a tool called PHP My Admin. It's going to allow us to manage databases, create them, uh, delete them, edit them, do many things with it. All right. But the most importantly is that we are getting into databases. Databases are really is a really exciting topic. All right. So the first thing that I want you to do is open your browser. I'm going to show you how to go here by manually localhost forward slash php my admin click enter and this is going to take you to the tool here and as you can see we have many different options here all right and you're going to give you a couple i'm going to give you a little tour here about the options but here just know that you, you will have all the databases here these are default databases all right don't touch any of these um a little more advanced than the uh what I'm showing you so we don't need to really go into this so here when you create a database through here so you put the name of the database and you click create your database is gonna show here and it's gonna show here on the left side we can type in the command manually if we wanted to create a database so we can say create database what user and it will create it for us when we click go if you know SQL we can click we can check the status of network traffic and all that great stuff right here we have more it's I mean it's a tool it has a bunch of information here this would be another course on, the, on its own alright if this course has I don't know how many lectures already this would be a course as with as much lecture or more alright so databases are a totally different animal right but we're gonna get we're gonna touch on them on this course here a little bit alright so here you can check the users of the databases. It's gonna have some default users with some all privileges. All right, we can export databases here. So just in case you have a database, is there database you can export it right here. So when you select your database, you can go to the export and it's gonna select that database automatically. It's gonna tell you we are exporting this database here. You're gonna click. You're gonna get the file in the .sql format and then you can import it. All right to another database right so for example you create a database here called database one right you do some stuff to create some tables inside do some information and all of a sudden you want to replicate that somewhere else or you want to back it up or something whatever you make another database called database two you select database two and you go to import well first you select the database one and you export it so you got the file in your computer called, well, you know, database1.sql. Then you select the other database, database2, and you go to import. And here you will import it. You choose the file. And then once you the file is here, then you can click go. And then you will import all that data from database1 to the database2. Really awesome. You can check the settings of this tool here. Features, queries, and all that great stuff replication variables I mean these are a little bit more advanced than what we are doing here but just know that this information is here what we're gonna be using is this database tab right here and that's about it and we're gonna be probably using users to create users but we're gonna create a database we're gonna create a couple tables inside because what we're gonna be doing in the next tutorial well I'll let you know in the next tutorial on the next video what we're gonna be doing but on this video here I just gave you an introduction of PHP my admin and now you know your way around and on the next video we're gonna build on that alright so hopefully you will enjoy this little part of my SQL because we're gonna be creating a my SQL database right and it's gonna be awesome right so anyway I see you in the next le next lecture and take care